Are you a little bit new to fiber optic cabling? Have you installed copper cabling for a while now and are finding that there are some differences when you install fiber optic cable? Well, stay tuned for the top things you should avoid doing when installing fiber optic cable. I'm Dave Harris, this is True Cable, and we'll be right back. Number one is don't cut the cable. Okay, yeah, you have to cut the cable. Don't cut the cable, dot, 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 too short. You need not only the distance for your run, you need to think about vertical distance as well as horizontal distance. You need to think about curves in the uh, cable path, any other irregularities in the cable path, and you need to account for uh, service slack on both ends. So plan ahead and don't cut your cable too short. And while we're talking about cutting cable, don't cut your cable, dot, 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 without adequate safety measures. I've got my nice Kevlar cutters here. They will cut right through this distribution cable with no problem, but I'd better not do it without eye protection and airway protection because little bitty tiny shards of glass will be released when I cut this. Now, you might be saying, well, it's very few little shards of glass and it's very unlikely that I'll get one of those in my body. It may be unlikely, but once it's in your body, it's in your body. It's never going away. And these things can add up. So, if you happen to find yourself in the position someday of sending a crew of laborers into a derelict data center with a bunch of wire cutters, telling them to tear out all the cable for demolition purposes, you need to give some thought to exactly what kind of environment you're going to be creating for them. Just a handy tip, you need protection before you cut fiber. Even when you're terminating fiber or splicing it, you need to have on hand a sharps container for your waste. Very dangerous. Look up, know the safety precautions for working with fiber, and use them. Do not crush, step on, drive over your cable. You need to protect the cable from radial forces or call them lateral forces, forces coming in from the side. They can crush the cable. You need to protect the cable from bending forces also. There is a uh, minimum bend radius for each cable and if you bend it too tightly there will be signal loss there. We'll look at more of that in a minute. Don't twist your cable. Fiber is not malleable like a metal core would be. When you twist a copper cable it just twists. When you twist a fiber cable, it breaks inside. So don't twist it either. And this is, it's easy to twist it when you don't think you're twisting it. When you're pulling it through conduit, it's gonna pull like this. It, there, if there are other cables in the conduit, it's likely to even wrap around them as it spirals through the path. So use a swivel attachment when you pull cable through conduit to keep it from getting twisted. Also, if you need to lay out your fiber on the ground before a long pull, do so in a figure eight pattern. If you have a coil that's not a figure eight like this, when you undo that coil, all of these fibers are twisting. They're twisting now as I pull this apart. If this were in a figure eight arrangement, then every time I pulled one coil, the next coil would go in the opposite direction, preventing the cable from being twisted. So always use a figure eight pattern when you lay out your fiber optic cable. That prevents twisting. Don't pull your fiber too hard. There is a maximum pull tension for distribution cable. This cable, the maximum pull tension is 90 pounds of force. That's pretty significant, but 
only when you pull from the strength member. I don't know if you can see this little aramid fiber here. We'll show you more of them. But that's the Kevlar strength member. That's what you pull by. Not the jacket, certainly not the fiber. So don't pull it too hard. Here's one a lot of people aren't really prepared for or familiar with, especially those who might be new to pulling fiber cable. Don't use discontinuous pathway types, such as D-rings, like these, uh, bridle rings, J-hooks, even ladder rack and basket tray are not suitable for fiber optic patch cords. Now, if your fiber is armored, that's different. But if it's a fiber optic patch cord we're talking about, this type of pathway is not acceptable because it's often impossible to protect it from excessive bend radius. So when it happens, you can see from this light that's escaping the fiber as it's drawn over this post, this rod, that light is escaping the fiber. That's signal loss. But it turns out that with this type of system, you don't even have to bend the fiber. Just a little lateral force, and you can see that light is escaping. So okay, as long as it's just sitting here, no problem. You have to put that lateral force on it. Well, what about when somebody comes along after you and throws in a bunch of heavy cables? You have no control over this, somebody coming after you and doing this. The weight of these cables is going to push down on the fiber and cause signal loss. So don't use this type of pathway, but also don't put your fiber optic patch cords in the same pathway as heavy copper cables. I know many of you are already doing this all the time. If we only have one pathway, how do we separate them? Well, that's the job for interduct. Interduct is just a plastic tube that is uh, corrugated, very flexible. And as I think you can imagine, these copper cables are no match for this. I can't crush it by hand. So this will, this will protect your fiber optic patch cords. And this is the way to do it if you don't have a dedicated pathway for your fiber optic patch cords. This is useful in basket tray and ladder rack, but also inside cabinets where crushing forces are often not realized. If you have fiber and copper cables populating a big cabinet and have to push those uh, uh, copper cables back in order to get the door closed, chances are you're crushing fiber someplace. So use interduct for that. Here's one for you new fiber optic jockeys. Your fiber optic patch cord, don't ever uncover the end face. Well, of course you have to. The end of that sentence is don't ever cover your end face without cleaning it. It's clean. Every single time you uncover one of these faces, whether it's a brand new patch cord or not, you clean it. Every time you pull it out of, an, of a uh, jack or an SFP, you clean it. This needs to be something you practice so often that it's habit, that you do it without thinking of it. You carry this around with you all the time and clean every single one, even the new ones, right out of the bag. Make it a habit. Believe it or not, I have seen people in the field who will take the caps off their end face and actually take their shirt and think that that's cleaning it. That's not cleaning it. That's putting dirt on it. You need one of these. If you're working with fiber and you have an uncovered end face, don't look directly into the end face. Okay, I'm looking directly into the end face, but the caps are on here. If the caps are off, don't look directly into the end face. Okay, well, you don't want to look directly into the end face if the fiber is energized. The problem is, you can't tell by looking. The fiber signal is not in the visible range. 
of electromagnetic radiation, so you can't see it. Nevertheless, that frequency of radiation can do severe damage to your retina. And if you're on one end of the fiber optic cable, you're probably not on the other end and don't know for sure if it's energized or not. Even if somebody calls you up on the radio and says, don't worry, it's not energized, it's not worth your eye to trust them. Never look into the end phase. Finally, don't throw your fiber optic cable around. Don't toss it into the back of your pickup truck the way you do copper cable. Don't run over it with the car. And don't straighten it like this. Well, I hope you learned a little bit about fiber optics. If you need to learn more, don't worry, we've got lots of information. Just tune in to our Cable Academy at TrueCable.com and you'll find lots and lots of helpful information. Happy networking! I hope you enjoyed that fiber video. Interested in learning more? Please check out either our Cable Academy up here, and if you really want to see more, check them out here.